Hi, please welcome to Diploma in Customer Service. So this is the seventh module. The module is techniques to calm down and irate customer. Irate customer means angry customers. Okay, so let's begin with the title. If I ask you a question like why irate customer is important to the business. So if you are a customer service representative, so if you are working in customer service field, why irate customer is important? What is your answer? Post this video and answer it by yourself. We always like happy customers. If we receive happy customers, yes, everything is good. But if we receive angry customers, how it goes? But I say they are very, very important to our business. Let's read this. Why are it customers important? Unfortunately, unhappy customers can also do real damage to your bottom line. Over 60% of consumers will switch brands based on a bad customer service experience. Yes. So we have to focus on irate customers also. Why? They are unhappy customers. So unhappy customers mean, so here the survey results what it says, over 60% of consumers will switch brands. Okay, they are switching brands. If they are unhappy, if they get angry on you, they switch their brands. It means they are not going to come to your brand again. They don't want to business with you again. So they switch brands because of bad experience they gain. So we have to focus on this 60% who are changing, who are changing, who are switching brands. So I read customers, unhappy customers are very, very important to our business. So we will have to figure out who are they, how we can sort out these issues. Let's see uh, why they are very important, why unhappy customers are important. Why irate customers are important. So let's see. So as as the uh, one result here, we say customer retention. Calming down. So let's, okay, first let me read this. Then I'll explain to you. Calming down an irate customer and effectively resolving their issue increases the chances of retaining their businesses. Yes, of course. So when any irate customer comes, when any angry customer comes, by calming down them, by calming down them, right, most of the issues, it means most of the issues can be resolved easily. So first you have to try to calm down them. If they are angry, before you solve the problem, before you uh, solve the problem, first you have to calm down them. So it is said like, calming down a customer and effectively resolving their issues increases the chance of retaining them. So it means, okay, once you calm down them it is very easy you to resolve their problem so that there are chances where you can retain them into the business retaining so retaining customers are also very very important so that when any customer comes i let customer comes first you try to calm down them by calming down them you can easily resolve by resolving you can retain them. You can keep up them to your business. So that is important. So that is first one, customer retention. And the second one is brand reputation. When I read customer comes, okay, so let me read this. Handling difficult situations with professionalism and empathy reflects positively on the company's brand reputation. Yes, how you serve I read customers, the way you handle so you would have seen many incidents in social media how customer service representatives resolve problems when irate customer comes, when angry customer comes. Some customer service representatives, they don't resolve, they don't resolve so that, you know, they also express their anger. If you are a person who are trying to show up your anger instead of using your skills to resolve problems, it means you are taking down your uh, business brand because you are representing one of your brand. You are representing your company. Since you are representing your company, you must understand the way how you are solving the problems, how you are uh, communicate to the customer. 
So if you are showing your uh, anger, emotions, if you are giving priority to your emotions, then what will happen? That will affect, definitely affect your brand reputation. So what I'm trying to say is, please go through, observe the way uh, how professional customer service, you know, professional customer service is, professionals, how do resolve problems when a customer comes? You can uh, bring down your brand also, you can bring up your brand also, you can uh, show up your standard of your brand. Good companies, they never scold customers, but bad companies, they scold customers, they shout at customers. Then you can figure out the company is good brand or, bra or bad brand. It's about you, okay? So you can just observe and you can also judge how they are. So uh, another way, another way around we say, I had customer same point because of customer advocacy. What does it mean? Let me read up. Turning an irate customer into a satisfied one can create a loyal advocate who speaks positively about the company to friendly and family. Okay, so most of the irate customers, if you are turning them into a uh, right way, it means if you are resolving the problem quickly, as soon as possible, what actually happens, these irate customer will turn as a loyal customer. Then what they do, they will speak on you. They will speak behalf of you. So they go and tell everywhere their experience, their good experience. Sometimes if any other customers blame on you, they, they represent behalf of you and they talk. In social media, they say, no, these people are good. They are not bad. I also had a problem. They resolved it. If you didn't resolve their problem, then there will be a uh, uh, different situation. So they would say like, no, I also had a uh, I mean, uh, uh, bad experience with them. So they didn't resolve. So that here, it's a chance when any irate customer comes, you have to grab it, grab the chance. I don't say hold it. You grab the chance to resolve the problem quickly. That will give you a good marketing. And also, that will bring a good customer to your business. Bad customer will turn into good customer. I don't use to, I don't want to use this word bad customer. I would say angry customer, then you can turn them into sweet customer, a loyal customer. In your life also, actually my life, I experience. Most of my good friends, loyal friends, I had bad experience with them in the beginning. It means, you know, you also go back and uh, pinch your memories. Sometimes the people who are very close to you, you had bad experience with them in the beginning. But they are after, they are very close to you. They are very close to you. I also have that type of friends. They are very close to me, but in the beginning, we had a fight. So, I let customer comes, you always think like that. He will become my best buddy one day. Loyal customers one day. Likewise, you have to think. So, that is the way how you have to think. So, if you are a professional customer service associate, customer service professional staff you have to think like that and lastly customer feedback when i read customer comes always you think like okay i am getting real feedback from my customer it is the real feedback no all the customers come and tell you the real stuff they may say good but i read customers Angry customers, they are the people who give the real feedback on you. Real feedback means they don't tell good things on you. They tell bad things. But the bad things are very important. You know why? If they tell you the bad things, then only you know what was the wrong. What was the wrong? So if you knew 
what was the wrong then you can easily correct so if you didn't know what was wrong you can't correct as i always say we do mistakes we will have to ask others where we actually got wrong right we had to get feedback so feedback is very very important by getting the feedback only we know where we have made any mistake if we have made any mistake yes that is the way to correct so angry customer when any angry customer comes you feel like it's a treasure why they will come and tell you where you got wrong so they audit it's like uh, auditing audit firm always you think like okay we are captured by audit firm today they come and tell where we are wrong then we must quickly correct quickly correct it is for our own improvement it is for our own improvement it is said here i read customers often have valid feedback that can help identify areas for improvement within the organization you see this feedback will help you to identify areas for improvement within the organization if you knew where it was wrong then you can correct that is for your own business improvement it is for your goodness customer service is about your life these skills life skills i always say customer service skills are your life skills you can apply to your life family life of course so if your partner is angry what she says about you yes you note it down you note it down and ask yourself whether it's true if it is true yes something wrong so that you know that thing you will have to take it positive and correct it okay and lastly i had customer side very important the reason why it's for customer experience let me read up this resolving issues promptly and effectively contributes to an overall positive customer experience leading to higher customer satisfaction levels okay this is not the last one before last so customer experience also very important here there's a famous saying people do not remember the name who help right so whenever they come to counter they have no idea who helped whatever they said whatever they are told they don't remember but they only remember the experience they had how they had the feeling so my friends here you must understand one thing the experience is very very important irate customer means angry customer means bad experience they had so that experience will not go off from their memory it is there it is there so you will have to turn that bad memories i mean bad experience to good experience you have to make it good experience so the you have to change this experience bad into good so that my dear friends angry customers are very very important you have something to do here especially experience changing mechanism you had to use your tactics techniques to change from bad experience to good experience lastly conflict resolution skills if so let me read up then uh, then teach you calming down irate customers helps develop conflict resolution skills in customer service representatives so as a professional customer service associate leader chief you must have conflict resolution skill in your linkedin account if you don't have a, a linkedin account you must have a linkedin account today especially there please notify that you have conflict resolution skills as a leader you must have you should have this skill whenever you can turn bad experience into good experience whenever you can turn uh you mean anger anger emotion to uh, happy emotion to your customer it means you can you are developing 
your conflict resolution skills so you are expertise in conflict resolution skills so this is very very helpful to day by day life family life working with uh, staff who are surrounding subordinates why because you you know uh, uh, you know you can easily turn angry customer to happy customer you can easily resolve their problems you know how to identify problems and resolve it it means you have that skills so this is one of an opportunity where you can use conflict resolution skills skills you can't gain easily skills are like by practicing you get as i am a trainer day by day by doing trainings only i gain training skills i can be the expert by doing trainings if i don't do training for a long period it means my training skills would go down it will go down definitely so that we have to do that again and again cricketers they do practice every day if they don't practice for for a time being they can't perform same it is all the skills are like that skills are like you must practice so this is an opportunity so you can practice this uh, conflict resolution skills every day if you don't get a uh, angry customer irate customer so irate customer if you receive it's an opportunity where you can develop your conflict resolution skills okay let's say techniques to calm down an irate customer so there are super duper skills we need to first identify thereafter let me take you through some main techniques where you can apply to calm down angry customers so let's see what are the main uh, skills techniques where you can apply uh, one technique when an irate customer comes you can apply like remain calm and composed so you can be calm first you don't need to panic when any irate customer comes first you calm down yourself have a good breath calm down talk to yourself talk to yourself hey i must first be calm if i don't be calm how i can calm down others if i am panic how i can uh, resolve others problem first you have to calm down yourself if you have to relax first thing relax talk to yourself tap your chest and say calm down calm down calm down relax so you don't need to panic the way how your uh, customer speak to you is not matter but the way how you are speaking to your customer is matter so please mind that and another skill another technique is listen actively you must listen actively active listening is also skills what does it mean how do you actively listen you have to maintain the uh, eye contact eye contact is very very important nod your head mm, the poses okay so you have to show like you are giving the priority to customer here it is very very important eye contact nodding your head acknowledgement is very very important so let your customer know that you are giving priority to customer let customer know that you are listening only to your customer at that time if you are receiving any calls do not answer at that time you must say sir i'm sorry then my phone call you are very important i'm listening to you if anyone interrupts you tell him hey buddy i'm listening to my customer i'll come to you i talk to you later let your customer know you are very important me sir rather than talking to him that is number 2 another one is empathize and validate empathize mean or you must let know your customer that you understand your customer's feeling you also understand customer's feeling it is like you must 
uh, how do you okay how customer know that you understand customers failing how does it know that you have to tell how do you tell you must say like sir the way you are thinking i understand well because if it was happened to, if it is happened to me i also act like same i know the way you actually actually you know you are scolding me if i were you i also would have done the same thing so i think it is right but try to understand my situation as well so likewise you know what i'm saying is here you must show the customer is right that is the why customer shows his anger let him to express his anger and you specially tell i understand your feeling sir i understand your problem sir if it is happen to you how do you act how do you feel that is you have to tell to your customer then only he will understand otherwise he won't understand that another skill you have to improve apologizing sincerely you must hear apologize sincerely you must say i'm sorry to hear so i'm very sorry sometimes it's because of your company sometimes it's not because of your company it's because of another unit it's okay even though it's because of you even though it's because of uh, another unit that the company it's okay if he comes and blames you first you must say sorry don't ashamed to say sorry you have to say sorry that is one of technique let me let me come later on from my technique how you can do this show understanding okay this is the way okay understanding so very similar to empathy empathize and validate very similar to that so you must show the understanding of sir i understand your situation so always you talk about customers problem so people love when you listen and always you talk about their problems people love whenever you talk about their problems but then you are talking about your problems you must say sometimes uh customer may wrong right but instead of talking about the company policies and processes if you talk about customers difficulty then they know then they understand you are trying to understand and you understood take ownership don't pass the ball don't just pass the ball do not say no it's not belongs to me it belongs to another unit do not refer customer here and there take the responsibility say i understand sir i understand i will help you sir i will help you so give your name okay so if you want to write down customer's name if you want to follow up yes of course you write it down customer's contract and follow up it take the responsibility take the responsibility take the ownership because this customer is very important to you because it's an opportunity you to develop your conflict resolution skills as discussed before it's an opportunity where you can retain the customer it's an opportunity for free branding it's an opportunity you to give good experience right remember these all follow offer solutions and follow through this too is important you have to offer solutions most of the time we can't offer solutions but you must try to offer solutions always you try to offer solutions and also follow up follow up me not only that time until the problem is solved you like to follow up follow up me not and uh, follow up me not like uh, you are waiting until customer calls so before customer calls so you will have to put up a timeline so have a excel sheet write it down just okay i like to follow up this uh, so before customer is calling you you will have to call and let them know this the status of the problem there are problems you can't solve as i said if it is solved by different units different departments so you'll have to speak speak to them the follow up refer customer to that particular department if it is can't solve by you then you follow up whether they have done it you just ask customer what is the status ask the department what's the status 
until the problem is completely solved. Stay positive, respectful. So you must always be positive. Never discourage yourself. Don't be negative. Whenever people do angry, they scold. It is normal. They don't appreciate if they're angry. They come and scold. That is the way. That is the response. So you will have to welcome it. Okay? So you have to be ready to welcome it. So what I'm saying is stay positive. Always you stay positive. Steady. Be steady. Okay? And be respectful. Respect your customer. Do not get moody. Do not show your anger to your customer. You must respect your customer. So you can say like, sir, it's a professional organization. You are a professional. You are a gentleman. You are a good lady. It's a professional organization. I understand your feelings. So we will treat each other respectfully. I respect. I admire you, sir. You are very important to our business. Likewise, you know, you better you talk respectfully to your customer. Express gratitude. Always to thank your customer. Why? When angry customer comes, why you must thank, you know, why? because they are very important. First, you thank them. Thanks for coming up with this complaint, sir. Thanks for coming up with your feedback, sir. Since you told this, we can quickly correct it. I understand what has been happened to you. We are trying to solve it, sir. So this type of techniques you can use to solve angry customer. Now, uh, let me let me take you through best steps to follow. So this is I have already covered in last module, I guess. But I have put it into my PPT module because this is very, very important. How you can uh calm down an angry customer so this is my way okay rex way so let me take you through five very very crucial five crucial steps where you can apply and turn all your angry customer to happy customers so here i say the first uh, technique as apologize when any angry customer comes, what they do, they come and shout at you, scold you. But here, what you have to do is just apologize. Just you say, I'm sorry, sir. Whenever you say sorry, your facial expression is very, very important. Your voice is, your vocal is very, very important. You must say like, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Whenever you say sorry, nod your head as well. Bow your head. I'm sorry, sir. That is important. Whenever you say sorry as per psychology, 40% anger will go down, will be dropped. Sometimes when they are angry, but whenever you say sorry, they keep on shouting you. But 40% of anger will get dropped. That is psychology, sir, psychology theory. So this is you can apply among your family members, friends, neighborhood, wherever. Who are they angry with you? You can apply with them. If you first, okay, first you apply these techniques with them, then you can apply with your customer as well. This will work. Just say sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Can you please say with me? I'm sorry, sir. Say, I'm sorry, sir. Don't say like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's not the way, right? You must say like, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. If I were you, I do like, I touch here, I say, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, you can do that. Body language is very, very important. Right? Facial expressions, your body language is very, very important. You must say, if I were you, I do like this. I touch my heart. I say, I'm sorry, sir. You see the facial expressions? I'm sorry, sir. You don't need to smile here, right? I am sorry, sir. Don't say that. I'm sorry, sir. Number two. As I told you, even though you say sorry, they don't stop scolding you. They scold. They shout. They yelling. They yell. The number two is stay calm. Relax. 
one thing you have to keep it in mind you do not take this personal don't take it personal it's a transactions you are representing your company there is nothing between your customer and you personal it's a transaction thingy customer had a bad experience that's why they come and tell you because you are representing your company that's why they tell you if you don't work for that company they don't tell you since you are representing your company they come and tell you their bad experience so that please calm down don't take it personal calm down the technique is have a good breath you must talk to yourself you must say relax rex relax don't say my name your name tap to yourself tapping me not not physically tapping this is you know virtual tapping right don't physically tap right in front of customer then it will be another problem <laughs> okay so you pictureize that in early you must do this virtually you tap yourself and say calm down rex calm down say your name not my name right calm down calm down calm down have a good breath calm down so that is the way how you can calm down here do not interrupt do not argue with your customer do not argue do not interrupt just you calm down have a good breath don't take it personal number 3 active listen active listen so here the active listen okay before the active listen i said calm down right i forgot the rule the rule here is 4 minutes rule you can calm down for 4 minutes this 4 minutes you can't interrupt your customer let customer shout at you scold at you yell at you no worries this 4 minute 4 minutes just relax yourself that's that's it do not tell anything why we say 4 minutes we call 4 minutes rule during this 4 minutes customer's anger will go away according to psychology a customer can scold you anyone can scold you continuously for 4 minutes that's the reason why we say calm down yourself for 4 minutes after 4 minutes they take a little break they breathe they get energy and again they shout at you so first 4 minute it's okay <laughs> just check it down just check it out right so first 4 minutes have a good breathe do not disturb your customer let them to scold so after 4 minute what will happen they are getting tired <clears throat> so they will take a break and again they will start off from the beginning they may say the same thing most of the customer they say same thing again and again and again they say many times 10 times they say same thing it's okay within that 4 minutes also they would say five times the same thing then again they take a break and they again continue it's okay right so number 2 technique is what stay calm the third technique is active listen actively listen act listen mean here you must listen what customer say here the uh eye contact is very important nodding your head is very very important and the respond is very very important acknowledgement is very very important your acknowledgement is what you must say like aha uh-huh, yes okay right mm-hmm. yes 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 okay sir i understand sir is it you nodding head acknowledging you, know, you must do that so don't forget that first one is apologizing number 2 stay calm tap your tap your chest virtually okay okay physically don't do that physically don't tap this is you must do inerly number 3 actively listen listen what customer say don't interrupt never interrupt you can't interrupt customer actually just aha uh-huh. mm-hmm. number 4 he sympathize now is the right time to talk empathizing mean this is i say you are playing for same side 
same team. So before customer is one team, you are one team. C customer is your uh, customer is your competitor, opposite direct or opposite uh, team. But now you are playing to customers' teams. It means what? You are taking customers' problem as your problem. You feel like, oh my God, if I were you, I also shout like this. I understand your feeling, sir. How many times you came to this office? I understand. Uh, you would have put, I think, uh, your your time is very valuable. I understand, sir. You you have come three times. It means how time you spent with us. I understand, sir. I understand. I'm very sorry to. I'm very sorry about that. Likewise, you are saying. How many times you have come to our outlet, sir? All your time is very, very important. You would have put half day leave. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. Likewise, you know, you try to understand that customer's uh, feeling. So you have to act like customer now. <coughs> Before that customer complains, you hear, you listen. Now you also act like customer. Whenever you act like customer, customer feels like, okay, he's also in my team. He understands well. <coughs> to who I am blamed now? Because he also 100% uh, <coughs> know what I'm trying to say. So I don't need to blame anyone because he understands well. If he doesn't understand only, there is an arg argument. There's no argument because he understands well. Understood? Likewise, you speak. Behalf of customer now. Like customer now. You must say like, sir, you are right. Never argue. You must say, you are right, sir. The way you behave is right. I don't say wrong. You are right. Whenever you say right, people love it. If you say someone, you are wrong, they don't love, they don't like, they hate. It's human nature. It's psychology. It's human psychology. But if you say you are right, they love it's a technique where I use how to calm down I read customers here. <coughs> okay, so you say you are right, sir. I understand. <clears throat> and the last one, the last technique is, last step is, this is steps, right? So five steps, four X steps. The last step is build the trust. You must build the trust. You must say here, this is you must do by honest. You must say, sir, please trust me. I will solve this problem. I will take the responsibility. This is my name. If you cannot solve the problem directly, refer it to right unit and you must follow up it. You must take the responsibility. You must say like, sir, you are my customer. It's my responsibility to resolve or follow up. I will give you the right feedback, sir. Until the problem is solved, I am with you. Trust me. Believe me. <clears throat> Let me give an example. You can apply it to your home environment. Say, if your parents do not allow you to go for a party, but if you if you are going for a party and uh, got late, now what do you do? Now they are waiting until you are coming. They are super angry. Not angry, super angry. Say your father. <clears throat> when you are entering to the house, what do your father do? Father would shout you, shout at you. Now you can use these steps. First one, apologize. I'm sorry, dad. I'm sorry, dad. Dad never stop shouting at you, though you say sorry. It's nature. But 40% of anger will get dropped. Number two, the second stop, second step. <clears throat> Stay calm. Talk to yourself. Relax. Relax. How many minutes you do this? Four minutes. Why? You let your dad to shout at you, scold at you for four minutes continuously. Do not stop him. Why? After four minutes, energy will get drained. So he will start up back again. He will get a break and start up so that it's okay. So it's a technique. Number three, actually listen what he says. Whatever he says. Uh-huh. Okay. 
serious mood you must be in the serious mood your facial expression is very important uh-huh. okay have the eye contact okay empathize now you must understand here yeah, your dad's your father's feeling why he scolds you since he feels like you are important he wants to know what actually happened to you he wants to know an update he wants to keep up the discipline to his child so that you understand that you must say like dad if i were you i you also shout like that i don't say you are wrong you are 100% right dad you are shouting to me because you are loving me you are caring me it's an embarrassment in front of neighbors in front of relatives if they got to know the behavior of mine yesterday party if something goes wrong right sometimes you know in parties if you say if you have had a bad behavior it's an embarrassment so you can say okay so i understand it's an embarrassment so that is the reason why you are scolding me you are not scolding me because of a personal issue between you and me you are trying to uh, teach me a lesson you are trying to correct me that's why you are scolding me dad that is equal to the hc you are playing into same team now no oppositions here same team <laughs> whenever you do this 80% of problem is getting solved and the last step is building the trust you say dad trust me all i did gave me an experience i gained an experience from what i did so far i'm taking and i'm taking this is an opportunity where i can correct myself believe me trust me dad i will not do this again you can trust me so this is you have to genuinely say you can't cheat your dad so it's an example where you can do at home with your family members your partner your spouse with your siblings with your neighbors with your friends you can apply if they are getting angry so last thing is very very important genuinely you must build the trust this is genuine is important if you could apply these steps to angry customers irate customers you can easily develop your conflict resolution skills not only that you can retain your customer you can give a good experience you can keep up you can uh, keep up the brand you can keep up the brand you can turn your customer as loyal cust- loyal customer as we that we call loyal customer advocacy and take this opportunity to give, to uh, turn anger anger emotion to happy emotion so these all you can do by applying your skills so always you think angry customer is a treasure when they come the treatment is very important as a professional as a customer service professional as a dip, as a student in diploma in customer service we are trying to endorse your customer service skills skill development council canada once endorsed you as a customer service professional you have to use this you have to use it and show you are a real customer service ambassador i'll see you from an amazing model next week again thank you very much